Hey, welcome to next Let's Play on the channel. Been a while since we played Pokemon on here. I'm playing a lot of Pokemon in my spare time, but it's about time I actually bring it back to the channel. Last time we played Crystal. So, let's move on to the next game in the series. Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Specifically, we're playing Emerald today. Uh, I will say, first generation, we played Pokemon Stadium. Second generation, I have yet to play Pokemon Stadium 2. That will come eventually. I just felt like playing a new adventure first, rather than setting up everything to make sure and making sure it works and all that. I just wanted to sit down and play some Pokemon. So we will at some point retroactively go back and play Pokemon Stadium 2 with the team from Crystal. Now, let's just jump into Pokemon Emerald. We've got a team in mind from the get-go, but so I'm not going to say anything about what my team is going to be for that. Uh, I apparently also had a file on here at some point. Let's just play with the settings since I have that as an option. I'm just going to go that back to that. And I like the sound of that. Uh, I'm going to leave it on mono just because that's the default. And I don't know if it'd be better or worse if I changed it to stereo. Alright, sorry to keep you waiting. I can set a world of Pokemon. My name is Virch. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call a Pokemon. Hello, Tad! The world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. The humans live alongside Pokemon, at times as friendly playmates, and at times as cooperative workmates. Sometimes we band together and battle others like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. But there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. And rather Pokemon mysteries, I'm undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are? A boy or a girl? Uh, I'm gonna pick the boy option, just so that way, a we have May as our like person running around, like that way we have May as our rival and everything, which I think is a bit more fun. Alright, and uh, when we played for uh red, I think we played actually uh not yellow. Was it yellow? Yeah, it was yellow. My bad. Anyway, uh, I called myself red. We played through crystal. I believe I called myself gold. So, in terms of sticking to that trend, uh, let's go ahead and I think we'll call ourselves Ruby for this. Okay, your Ruby is moving to my hometown of Little Root. I get it now. Alright, are you ready? A very adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. Truck is open. Oh, let's hop on out. Ruby, we're here, honey. Must be tired of riding with our things in a moving truck. Well, this is Little Root Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room, Ruby. Let's go inside. See, Ruby? Isn't it nice in here, too? Ruby's put one's all the work of moving us in and cleaning up after. This is so convenient. Ruby, your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Put your new clock to mark our move here. Don't forget to set it. Alright, we also have a computer here. Which I believe item storage, we can withdraw a potion. Nice. Box stop, better set it and start it. Uh, I'll stick with what is the real time for me. And this is gonna take a second. Uh, currently I'm recording at 9.40 p.m. So let's go ahead and set that. And... Yeah, that'll do. Oh. Maybe Addy like a new room. Good, everything's put away neatly. I finished moving everything in downstairs too. Oh, the movers are so convenient. Oh, you should try make sure that everything's all there on your desk. All oh, right, and the move start recording progress was safe. The rest of the pages are blank. 
All right, if we go into our options here, we can have a look at our trainer card, which there is just nothing there, apparently. And all those settings, which I've left alone. Oh, Ruby, Ruby, quick, come quickly. Look, it's Pedalberg Gym. Maybe that'll be on. Brought you this report from in front of Pedalberg Gym. Oh, it's over. My dad was on, but we missed him. Too bad. Oh yes, one of dad's friends lives in town. Professor Bush is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and do just that. Oh, hello. You are? Oh, you're Ruby, our new next door neighbor. Hi. I have a daughter about the same age as you. I thought I was excited about making a new friend. The daughter is upstairs, I think. Huh? Who are you? Oh, you're Ruby. See you with me today. Um, I'm May. Glad to meet you. I have this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. I heard about you, Ruby, from my dad, Professor Birch. It's only that you'd be nice, Ruby, and we could be friends. Oh, this is silly. I, I just met you, Ruby. <laughs> oh, no, I forgot. Just go help dad catch some wild Pokemon. Ruby, I'll catch you later. I'm not too sure how I feel about the name Ruby. I kind of have... It was a bit... Like, I've had the thought before, but I kind of forgot that that was my plan until I was in the moment. But... Uh, you know, I'm gonna stick with it. I, I always try to go for what is a sort of, like, canon or default sort of name, I guess. Um, and I don't remember what the boy's ne default or canon name is in this. Um, hi, there's a scary Pokemon outside. I can hear their cries. I wanna go see what's going on, but I don't have any Pokemon. Can you go see what's happening for me? Now help me. Alright, here we're getting our first Pokemon. Hello, you over there, please help. I'm back, it's a Pokeball. There's not just one, but three. There is Trico. Mudkip. And our choice, Torchic. I feel like Torchic is the most commonly used one, probably, from what I see anyway on mine. Maybe that's just the circles I follow, but I feel like I always see people pick Torchic, but you know what, I wanted to as well. I guess it's my favorite. I, I really like Trico's design and everything. Uh, but grass types are a little bit tricky to play with. Just in that they have so many weaknesses and they take, it's not for a while that they get any really good moves. Like they get the Mega Drain, Giga Drain stuff, they get Razor Leaf and that's kind of it. Um, it's all Beam, I guess, but that requires a pretty specific setup. If you want to make it really work. Phew! I was in the grass studying while Pokemon else jumped. Save me, thanks a lot. Oh? Hi, you're Ruby. Not a place to chat, so come by my Pokemon lab later, okay? And it's later. So, Ruby, I heard so much about you from your father. I don't you have your own Pokemon yet. But the way you battled, though, you pulled it off with a plum. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Oh, yes, yeah, so thanks for rescuing me. I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. We've received a Torchic. Alright, wanna give a nickname to the Torchic? Sure thing. Um, I have not put any thought into how I want to name things here. I'm gonna let my dumb brain decide, and its name shall be Kronk. No, that's a movie I haven't even seen. I know. Uh. First one was Chicken Little. I kind of don't want to just stick with the name Chicken or Little. Uh, Eric. <laughs> I don't know why. Whenever we get to the name right, if I've come up with something better by then, I'll pick. I'll change it. Work at Pokemon to gain experience. I think you'll make an extremely good trainer. Kid May is also studying Pokemon. Will help me out. Do you think it might be a good idea to go see May? Sure. Great, May should be happy too. Give May to teach you what it means to be a trainer. Alright, will do. Oh, we're heading off with our first Pokemon. Eric, the uh Torchic. What's it uh it's serious nature? I don't know what. That means as far as the stats go. Uh, 
But yeah, pretty good. Uh, special attack and attack. Not as great in defense, but that's okay. And we have abilities, finally, if we came up with the channel from when I play Crystal. Crystal obviously didn't have them. Emerald was the first one to actually introduce uh, abilities for Pokemon, which is so good, honestly. And our first random encounter is a Wurmpool. Excellent. Alright, it's gonna take a little bit, but we gotta train up a little bit before we get to our first fight, I think. So, if I just fight whatever we encounter on our way there... Uh... Probably should be enough. I'm thinking it just need just with like a level or two. A level six, maybe level seven if we can. I might do one more fight before we go to that town. Our first uh, new town. The Route 101. I do love uh, second generation Gods of the Crystal. Uh, it just sort of continued the routes from where the first game was left off. So they had, you know, route, like, I think the first game's ended at Route 25, so this one started at, next one started at Route 26. And now for this one, because it's kind of a new, a fresh start, uh, they're now 101, 102, and so on. I just find it funny, the way that they just sort of keep, kept, like, trying to come up with new ways of making the route numbers different. We've healed up now in our first new town. Old Dale Town. We talk to this fellow over here. Hey, look at Pokemon Mart. I get you to come with me. Pokemon Mart, just look for our blue roof. We sell a variety of goods and clean Pokeballs for catching Pokemon. And all you have this as a promotional item. We've obtained a potion. Hell yeah. We can use any time, so it's even more useful than a Pokemon Center in certain situations. The rest I'm saving my progress. I was gonna walk around and see what people have to say because I don't usually, and so I'm curious if there's anything I'd, I've normally missed. When battle eventually level up becomes stronger, and with you become stronger, you better go farther away from here. All very true. So far, it's a lot of the default, uh, like, hey, huh, did you know A button makes the game go? Like, default stuff. When battle starts, one on, at the left list goes out first. And you have a point on your party, try searching around the order of your Pokemon. It'll give you an advantage. Fair enough. And if we try to go this way... Ah, wait, please don't come in here. I'll just give it the footprints of a rare Pokemon. Until I finish sketching them, okay? And if we were to check the mark, it would not have any Pokeballs yet. So, we have to wait. We are Route 103. Alright, different Pokemon here. Puchiana. Yeah, so I said before, I do have a few... I do have kind of the team planned out already in my head. Just because I feel like I don't want to spend too much time... Uh, ...deciding in episodes and stuff. I'm staggeringly tired. I should have brought a potion. We have another wild poo, Shiena. I will say most of our teammates are we're actually probably gonna get pretty early. Like I think I dare say that would probably have a full team. By like the halfway point, I think. Which feels very early, but most of the Pokemon that I think I would like are just thankfully that early, I guess. Alright, so we hit level 7. Let's see, if I found a Route 103 included. Oh, hi, Ruby. Oh, I see, my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift. 
Well, yeah, let's have a quick battle. We taste of what being a trainer is like. Hell yeah. Our trainer May would like to battle. And sent out Mudkip. Now, just as we don't don't have any uh, moves our type, I don't believe Mudkip does either. I just wanted an extra couple levels on it, so that we had a slight advantage going into this. Although, because we were missing a bit of health to start, not looking great for us. There we go. Probably one crit would have done us in. But, we did it. Nearly leveled up from that. Wow, that's great. Ruby, you're pretty good. I think I know why my dad has an eye out, out for you now. I mean, you just got that Pokemon, but it already likes you. I'll be able to befriend any kind of Pokemon easily. Well, it's time to head back to the lab. Alright, I would like to just do one last encounter here before we go. Just because we were so close to level 8, I would feel, not silly, but I would really like to just get that last bit of experience that we need before we continue. There we go. Help oh, was very low, but we did it anyway. Hell yeah, Eric. Our defense is still not great, but our attack and special attack are very good. Most starters have really good stats, honestly, so I'm not too worried about that that uh, low defense. As I'm sure it'll still manage just fine. Let's heal up. I think we're going to join May going back down. Uh, anyone else there? Finish off a little bit of plot there, and then I think we'll call it an episode. Ruby, over here. Let's hurry home. Alright, thankfully we can just hop straight down and make our way back to Little Root Town, our hometown. Is it fair to call it a town if it's literally free houses? How do you beat May on your first try? That's excellent. May's been helping with my research for a long time. May has an extensive history as a trainer already. Here, Ruby, order this for my research, but I think you should have this Pokedex. Oh yeah, we received a Pokedex. A high tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My kid May goes everywhere, everywhere with it. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokemon and records its data in the Pokedex, why May looks for me while I'm out doing field work and shows me. Oh, Ruby got a Pokedex too. That's great, just like me. We got something for you too. And we've got Pokeballs. We can finally start catching. I wonder if we can get a lot of Pokemon. I'm going to look all over the place because I want different Pokemon. Find any key Pokemon, I'll catch them with Pokeballs. All right. Very cool. Now, if we go to the park, a mother's hanging outside. Wait, Ruby. Hey, Ruby. Did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Oh, one adorable Pokemon. You got it from Professor Birch. How nice. You're your father's child, all right. You look good together with Pokemon. Yeah, honey. Going now on an adventure. Where are these running shoes? They'll put a zip in your step. And so we switch shoes with the running shoes. Your shoes come with instructions. Hold B while running. Wearing these running shoes to run extra fast. Run these running shoes and race in the great outdoors. You can have your very own Pokemon now. I will be overjoyed. Please be careful. If anything happens, you can come home. Go on, go get him, honey. Alright, we can run! Finally! <laughs> Alright, well, we're gonna call it an episode here, I think. Next time on Pokemon Emerald, we're gonna start catching that first couple members. The first couple members of our team, and probably make our way to the next town. We're just gonna take care of this one before we get to the town, and then I think we'll end it. Uh, I'll probably try to make the episodes somewhere around the 20 minute mark, maybe a little before, maybe a little after. Like 15 to 25 is probably my guess. And this will be uploaded Monday to Friday, is the plan. With the weekends being reserved for longer RPGs and stuff. The kind of games that, you know, you can't make this much progress in 20 minutes. <laughs> Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm just catching the footprints of a rare Pokemon. They're only my own footprints. Cut. See you all next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>